everyone, my name is Katia and a few of you lovelies requested a Bratz lookbook. So today I am here to deliver. So when I was younger, I used to be super obsessed with dolls and just putting them in those cute little outfits and like switching out the combinations and like basically I just loved any form of dress up. So I guess you could say that I had a passion for fashion, much like the Bratz girlies. Passion for fashion. For fashion. As the early 2000s continue to reemerge in today's clothing, we've seen Bratz fashion become quite the trending topic. So basically what I did is I went through every single Bratz doll line ever made and I picked a few of my favorites to base some outfits off of. I also picked these specific outfits because they match with whatever I already had in my closet. However, I'd be happy to do a part two based on different collections of the Bratz doll line or maybe even a different doll line completely like Barbie or Monster High. So if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know in the comments and I will get right on it. But without further ado, let's get into the outfits. The Diamonds Forever line is definitely one of the bougiest Bratz collections by far. So it was right up my alley. I knew I had to definitely recreate an outfit based off of it. All the dolls were a crop top with a bedazzled rhinestone word that matches their personality, along with fur coats, flared jeans, and diamante embellishments. Although I didn't have the iconic BB top these dolls were clearly mimicking, I did have this equally sparkly rhinestone one, which I actually have a similar one of on my Depop, so if you're interested in recreating this exact outfit, I will link my Depop in the description. The top is a huge statement, but I thought it fit into the theme and balanced out the informality of the pants quite well. Because my pants didn't have any rhinestone detailing like the dolls did, I did opt to spice up the look even more with a rhinestone belt, choker, and some dangly earrings. I also added my signature fur coat and some simple strappy sandals. Even amongst my huge collection of mini handbags, I unfortunately could not find a rhinestone one, so I replaced it with this black one instead. I think this outfit came out super accurate, although it's not exactly the most wearable. The early 2000s vibes are very strong in this one. The next look is the most accurate and in turn the least wearable because it's based off the movie stars line in which each doll wears a formal glitter dress in their unique color. I pulled out my prom dress from the back of my closet because it just happened to match Yasmin's outfit perfectly. Since the dress was so extravagant, I also went for some matching diamond shaped earrings and these gold geometric barrettes and I had to add the fur coat again along with some dusty pink velvet sandals to complete the look. The formal Bratz look is definitely super over the top, but if I'm honest, the majority of their casual outfits are kind of just as extravagant. If you want to take inspiration from this specific look, but you don't have a formal glitter dress, then you can replace it with a sequin top and pair it with some flare jeans instead. The following outfit is an ode to the Genie Magic collection, which is actually one of my favorites because I love the color palette of all the outfits and the embellishments with the gold detailing. It's so intricate and just beautiful. I focus specifically on the Megan doll who's sporting a blue maxi skirt, a pink crop top, and lots of gold accessories. So I took that exact outfit formula and I went with this pink rouge top and turquoise silk skirt. Of course I had to add lots of gold detailing, so I chose these hoops, a crescent moon choker, and a circle belt for accessories. I think silky fabrics and gold jewelry fit together well, especially when in combination with bold colors like pink and turquoise. Although Megan's shoes don't match mine perfectly, I think these hot pink satin blocks heels fit into the theme because of the pointed heel and the unique rainbow gem detailing. For this next outfit, I mainly took inspiration from the Jade doll in the Winter Wonderland collection, which I think might actually be one of the most popular and memorable Bratz doll lines. I've seen a lot of YouTube content creators take inspiration specifically from this line, so I wanted to give it a go and see what I could come up with. Since Jade's outfit had a blue theme, I incorporated two shades using this plaid skirt and cardigan, but I kept the rest of the outfit fairly simple and neutral with this white baby tee and these knee-high boots. I also added a few more cozy elements like a fur 
vest, a white beanie, and some tights to really sell the theme. And I finished off the look with a simple blue choker necklace with a K monogram on it. Even in doll lines that didn't feature a winter theme, the brat still frequented fur fabrics, which I think was mainly because adding any sort of fur jacket is a really easy way to step up an outfit. And it was also a huge trend in the early 2000s. So when I saw this vest at the thrift, I knew it would be the perfect piece to pair with any brat's inspired look. Although this look wouldn't exactly mesh very well with New York winter, it does include lots of patterns, colors, and fabrics that I would have really never thought of putting together myself. The Flashback Fever doll line featured each brass taking outfit inspiration from a different decade. I opted to base my outfit on Yasmin's look because she's wearing a roller disco outfit, which I thought was very groovy. I didn't have a similar white jacket or athletic shorts, but I matched her combo with my vintage 80s rainbow windbreaker and some high-waisted denim shorts instead. For the top, I picked this crop top with a glitter decal that says just a little bit dramatic because the brats never shy away from a good graphic baby tee, and this one especially matched some of the detailing in the windbreaker as well. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of leg warmers, so I replaced those with some knee-high socks instead, and I incorporated even more rainbow using these colorful barrettes. I went with the chunkiest shoes I could find, these hot pink Buffalo London platform sneakers. As we all know, huge platform shoes are the brat's go-to. For this next look, I took inspiration more from the general vibe of the doll line instead of one specific doll, but I think it's still kind of obvious what that line is when looking at it, which is pretty and punk. I based the look around these red plaid pants and I paired them with a mesh top and a black bralette. I see elements like mesh, silver chains, and leather in almost everybody's outfits, so I incorporated that using this leather jacket and triple layer chain. I opted to add a few more edgy accessories like these red crystal earrings and black lace up boots. And I didn't have any Union Jack printed clothing or accessories, but that would have been the perfect finishing touch. I think this look could honestly fit in with the Brock Angels Bratz doll line as well, since it is based on a similar black and red color scheme. So let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite and if you would either like to see a part two to this brass lookbook or a lookbook based on a different doll line entirely. Don't forget to check out my Depop. I'm selling a whole bunch of modern and vintage items on there, including some Y2K pieces. So that will be linked in the description if you're interested. Don't forget to like this video, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.